Spray some water. I also have here what you'll notice are some cups. These cups are really great for painting with, so you can fill a bowl with a specific color of paint and use these circles and cups to create the shapes on your art. They can also be used for stacking in a number of other ways. If you're anything like me, when a paint palette gets broken or one of them is missing, I find I don't like to present it this way. So I end up using all of these little pieces for color experiments. And so I've put one inside this little dish. And this one you'll see already has water in it. We have Q-tips that can be used as paint brushes. So I'm back here with Sebi and we're going to try something we've never done before. So I'm not really sure how it's going to turn out. We have our piece of paper. We have our bubbles. We have this little plastic container that I found it was recyclable, but you can also use a Tupperware. So this is a Tupperware box. And, and, and our pen. Yeah, we have our colors too. Okay, so we're going to pour this bubble liquid into the tray. Not a lot, just a little bit. You want to shake it? Okay. I want to put it here. Okay, we're going to take our magic wand. Where is it? In here. Let's make sure it works. It's working. Okay, now what we have to do is put a drop of food coloring Wait. to make it seem like, or do we want to put food coloring or should we put one of these paint No, cups? no, what food coloring? Oh, hmm. blue. No, yellow. yellow. Okay, so we have food coloring here. Too. You're going to mix it with a straw. Okay, so as you can see, it's still the same bubble liquid. It's just got color now on it. All right, so Sebi, here is the experiment. M Mama's going to try to blow it onto this paper and see if when it pops, it makes the paper the color that we picked. Are you ready? So, so far, we do see a little bit of the yellow. So let's try the same experience Mommy, I'm using maybe a darker color. Mommy, how about, how about let's put a little bit of this? The magic. Oh, inside there? Glitter glue? Yeah, glitter glue. Because you always need glitter glue, right, Sebi? Yep. Okay. And that's what we do. So we've put a lot of food coloring here. I'm going to put a little bit of bubble liquid into this one. Not too, too much, just a little bit. I'm going to mix it. Now it's a darker color. It looks like a purple. 
Okay, let's take a look now with our bubble wand. If I need a little it'll bit. make the paper purple. Let's see. It's working. <laughs> That's baby soap. Are you gonna mix it? I'm gonna use some oil too. Yeah. Let's see what it turns in. Let's put it like some of this. What do you have there? Let me see. Oh, that's the peppermint. You yeah. want it to smell like peppermint? It yeah. only needs a tiny drop. So here's my suggestion. Open it. Before yeah. you actually let it go inside, use this instead. Okay. And then you just, here. Put it all the way to the... How do I do it? So you just press on the top like that. And then you have your... Playing music in the forest. 